Getting started with newborn photography and especially wrapping can sometimes feel super overwhelming. You've got a baby, you got some fabric, but you don't really know how to put them together. Well, today I've invited you to come behind the scenes with me to an actual shoot, and we're gonna show you how I wrap a newborn. So you'll be set on your way to start creating amazing art of your own. I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way, an online photography school that empowers, educates, and inspires newborn photographers just like you. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. I would love to be able to bring you these weekly tutorials to help you grow as an amazing newborn portrait artist. So I am so excited to invite you behind the scenes on a shoot with me to see how I wrap a newborn in a session. Here's another just super easy, sweet one. Um, and really, really, I encourage you just to get your wraps out. Maybe get a doll out and play because there really are a million and one ways to wrap a baby. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this across here. And I'm going to tuck it under here. I'm going to take this wrap. nice and tight under his shoulder. Oh, he's there. So this is just another version of just a bit of a swirl wrap and I've got um, some coverage across his chest but I'm able to bring his feet out and what's really nice is this is a great wrap if you wanted to turn him on his side so I'm just trying to maintain some tension right here. So it's just a different version of sort of a cocoon style wrap. <laughs> oh, sir. He's like, I'm not letting go. So for this example here, what I would probably do is I would have someone come and probably a parent or a spotter if I had one, come and hold the blanket up so I'm able to take the shot without having to um, photograph, like to Photoshop the backdrop. So I'm gonna just get Erin just to hold the, the back of the blanket up a little bit. Yeah, just right here. If you could hold maybe two layers up, that would be great. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, you're moving me. Stop moving me. <laughs> I 
my camera's really hunting for focus. That's sort of the shot. And because I'm probably just going to be super, super picky, I'm just going to elevate his head slightly. And I'm going to get you to hold it again. So just let me, uh... <laughs> It's so cute. It's a really cute wrap. I think I may even tuck. Okay, the only thing I want to change is your hands. There, 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 there. It's pretty darn cute. And again, just moving all sorts of different angles. <laughs> and just even changing their little feet in a position like this completely changes the image. So what I'm doing is I'm really just trying to, oop, <laughs> trying to tuck the wrap underneath them. And so I think I'm going to ask Erin to come back and spot again because I see another amazing shot that I can get without really changing things too much. Um, I'm just literally just tucking this wrap behind him and down beside him. And what I'm really trying to do is keep his little booty as high as possible. I'm going to bring his little face over towards me. Very in a very gentle kind way. Sorry buddy, I know we don't want to move. I know, you're doing so good. He's kind of a rock star because a lot of babies will only do one or two poses on their backs before they start to stir and wake up. But this little guy is just killing it. So he's our perfect little rapper. Wicka, wicka, wicka. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bad jokes. <laughs> the jokes cost extra. The jokes, yeah. <laughs> jokes are bonus. <laughs> awesome. There we go. Pardon me. So this is actually a shot that you can often do with. Um, I'm gonna pull this out. You can often do this shot with a bowl. I I often just prefer to just create a nice big divot and to lift up with extra blankets. So what I'm going to do is push his little booty right high. I'm going to bring this little hand over here. I'm going to ask my spotter to get in position. <laughs> You're doing awesome. So what I'm trying to do right now is just straighten those little fingers if I can. I'm going to take the safety shot to make sure we get it though. Okay, so up. up. Oh, it's so pretty. He's so handsome. And the variation that you can do of this shot is you can take his little, little hand here and you can put it under his little cheek if he'll let you. Nice high booty. I'm actually going to twist the booty over a little bit more this way. And again, just making sure you're shooting multiple angles. So I'm getting down low. I'm not going up his nose. I'm going to I'm going to actually show you an up the nose shot. And this is not the angle that you want. This is not where you want to be. Oh, <laughs> and there we go. <laughs>
<laughs> with broken position, but I got the shots that I needed to anyway. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've loved this video and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single newborn photography tutorial. We also have something a little extra for you, so make sure you check out the link just down below. You'll get a little freebie from us. I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way and see you next time.